Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve a system of equations using elimination. Now, when substitution, basically what we did is we decided on a variable, usually the variable had a coefficient of one or two, and we solved for that variable, so therefore we could take the expression um, that the variable equaled and plug it into the other equation. Now, for elimination, it's a totally different process, but we're still going to solve it algebraically. And again, remember this is a system of equation. We're looking for the solution where x and y are going to be, is going to be true for both of our equations. So we're looking for the value of x and we're looking for the value of y. What's nice about elimination is basically we're going to eliminate a variable by adding and subtracting, combining the two equations. So, if you're going to add or subtract, it's totally up to you. Um, I always like to um, add rather than subtract, but sometimes um, it's not always going to be necessary. Now, the best thing to use elimination, and you can see here, um, the reason why I'm deciding to use elimination for these equations, because every single one of my variables does not have a coefficient of 1. If they had a coefficient of 1, I like substitution. So I would choose to use the substitution method. Usually, you're just asked to solve a system, and it doesn't matter what method you use. And so when you have equation systems that look like this, you per, it's usually preferred to go ahead and use elimination. Um, so what exa how are we going to do this? So the first thing we want to look for is we want to look for the easiest variable to eliminate, right? because we like things are easy. The best thing about this problem is you can see that my coefficients are exactly the same. So you, typically, the easiest variable are going to be the coefficients that are the, exactly the same or even positive or negative. But if they're exactly the same, the least their absolute value is exactly the same, or they have an LC, um, LCM, that means their common multiple is very easy to obtain. And we'll talk more about that later. But you can see here, the variables for x exactly have the exact same um, coefficient. So what I'm going to do when they're exactly the same, I'm simply just going to subtract my two equations. Now, the reason why I don't like subtraction is because what happens is it, a lot of students make mistakes. So remember, you're subtracting the top equation, for, or sorry, the bottom equation from the top equation. So every single one of these terms, you're subtracting. And a lot of students make mistakes doing this. So that's why I'm going to kind of go through this really quickly or slowly. So I'm going to do 2x minus 2x. Well, 2x minus 2x is going to be 0x, which is just 0. So we're, going to, we're not going to write that in there. And then here, I have 6y minus a negative 10y. So you're minusing a negative, which would be a double negative. It's just the same as addition. So 6y basically minus a negative would be plus um, 10y, which is going to leave us with 16y. And then 17. 17 minus 9, OK? 17 minus 9 is going to leave us with 8. Now you can see by combining the two, what I have done is I have eliminated my variable x because it has a coefficient of 0. And now I can just solve for y. So I'll do that. I'll divide by 16 on both sides. And I get y equals 8. I'm sorry, y equals 1 half. Now, just like in substitution, now I know what the value of y, I can plug that into either one of my equations. Now, what was nice about substitution is by solving one equation for the variable, when you knew what the other variable was, you, you could just plug it in and you already had to solve. For here, I just have to pick a variable. It doesn't matter which one I want to choose or pick an equation. Um, and it doesn't matter. I can plug in y into this equation or I can plug in y into that equation. It, again, it does not matter. I'm going to choose to plug it into the top equation. So I'll have 2x plus 6. Instead of 6 times y, I'm going to replace y with 1 half, just like, I did, just like I did in substitution, equals 17. Now I simplify. So I have 2x. 6 times 1 half is a positive 3, equals 17. Now I use my inverse operation, subtract 3. And I have 2x is equal to 14. Divide by 7, divide by 7, and I get x equals 2. So therefore, my solution set for this one is going to be 2 comma 3. That means these two graphs, if you were to graph them, would intersect at the point 2 comma 3. Um, all right, so let's get into the next one. Now, the next one, you can see that neither of my variables, neither of my variables um, have the exact same coefficients. So therefore, what we have to do is we have to multiply one of the equations, or sometimes both, which we'll get into last week's problem, by a multiplier. And basically, I, we only need to multiply one of them because you can see that, if you remember, I said whichever ones have the, um, the easiest LCM, like the, most, uh, the easiest to obtain common multiple. So we look at between 3 and 6 and 4 and 3. 
Well, they both have um, here, between 3 and 6, the least common multiple is 6. They both divide into 6. Whereas 4 and 3, forget about the negative, 4 and 3 have a common multiple of 12. Well, that's not hard, but this would be much easier to obtain as far as getting a common multiple because all I have to do is multiply my top equation by 2, and then, that, and then they'll be exactly the same. Now, again, I showed you a subtraction. I do not like doing it this way. If you have the coefficients are both positive or both negative, my recommendation is when using a multiplier, multiply it by your uh, negative number. So therefore, you have a negative and a positive, and you can add the two equations. So here's what I would do. I'm going to multiply this by a negative 2. Now remember, when you're multiplying it by a multiplier, as long as you multiply an equation, every single term that's separated by addition and subtraction and on both sides of the equal sign, as long as you multiply the whole equation, you're not actually changing the equation. For instance, if I say um, x equals 4, and then I multiply that by 2 on both sides, I get the equation 2x equals 8. Well, guess what? 2x equals 8 is still the same thing as x equals 4. So as long as you multiply the number by everything, you're keeping the equation the same. So let's multiply this. We're going to have to apply distributive property to every term. When doing that, I now get a negative 6x. Negative 2 times negative 4 is a positive 8y is equal to a positive 20. Then I rewrite the bottom equation just like as it is. So I have 6x plus 3y equals a negative 42. Now, what's nice about this is you can see I have a negative and a positive. So therefore, I don't have to subtract. When they're the, exactly the same value and sign, you have to subtract them to get to 0. Well, when you have exactly the same, but one's positive, one negative, rather than having to subtract, I can just add them. Because negative 6x plus 6x is 0x, and 0x is just 0. So they kind of they add to 0. 8y plus 3y is? 11y. And 20 plus a negative uh, 42 is equal to a negative 22. Now I solve for y, so I divide by 11. And I get y is equal to a negative 2. Now I take the value of y, and I plug it back into one of my equations. You can plug it into one of these equations, the one that you um, altered by your multiplier. Or you can go back to your original equation. And again, it doesn't matter which one you choose. Um, I'll choose to use my first equation again. But it doesn't have to be your first equation. You could choose any equation. So therefore, I have 3x minus 4. Instead of multiplying it by y, I'm going to say what the value of y is, which is negative 2, is equal to a negative 10. So now I just simplify here. So I have 3x. Negative 4 times negative 2 is going to be a positive 8 equals negative 10. Then I'll use my inverse operations to solve. And I get here 3x is equal to a negative 18. Negative 10 minus 8 is negative 18. And then divide by 3, divide by 3, and I get x is equal to a negative 6. Okay? So therefore, my solution set for this problem is going to be a negative 6 um, for x and a negative 2 for y. OK, last example. And I had to do, I had to do three kind of types because this is the easiest. Whenever you see that the coefficients are exactly the same and they have the same sign, you, know, you subtract them. If they are exactly the same but they have opposite signs, you would add them. If they have the same, if one of the coefficients is the LCM of your coefficients, then just multiply one of the equations. However, in this next example, you can see I have neither of them. I have the same coefficient, nor can I just multiply one equation by a number to receive the other coefficient, or to receive the LCM of the two coefficients. So in this case, what I need to do is I need to multiply both equations by multipliers. Fun stuff, right? OK, so to do that, you, you can choose to find the LCM of the coefficients for x, or you can determine to find the coefficients for y, the LCM for the coefficients of y. It doesn't matter. My, my advice is just to pick one that you are comfortable with and just go with it. So you can either find the LCM of, again, think of the absolute value, 7 and negative 2, which again would be 14. Or you could get the LCM of 2 and 3, which is 6. Well, since I've done x, since I've eliminated x every single time, let's go ahead and solve for y first here. So therefore, I'm going to want to get the LCM of 2 and 3, which is 6. So that means I need to multiply the top equation by 3. 
and the bottom equation by 2. That will both give me a coefficient of 6. However, remember, that's going to give me 6y over, or 6y over, uh, yeah, they'll give me 6y over 6y. And then I'd have to subtract them. And I don't like subtracting them. So I'm going to make one of them negative. I'll just make the 2 negative. OK, so now we apply distributive property. OK, make sure you multiply your multipliers by everything. And when doing that, I now obtain 21x plus 6y equals 33. Down below here, I have negative 2 times negative 2y, or negative 2x, which is a positive 4x. Negative 2 times 3 is a negative 6y. And negative 2 times 28, which is going to be a 58. OK. So now you can see I have a positive and negative. If you just multiplied by 2, you would have two positives. Then you'd have to subtract the equations, which is OK. You can do it. People just make more mistakes that way. All right, so now let's go ahead and add them up. So when doing this, I have 21x plus 4x is going to leave me with a 25x. That is going to add to 0y, which is just 0. And then over here, I have 21. Is this the same problem I did? Plus 2y equals 11. Negative 2x plus 3y equals 29. Hmm, what did I do wrong? Equals 11. Negative 2x plus 3y equals 29. All right, let me just make sure I did my work. 6y, oh, that's 33, yep. That becomes a 4x. That becomes a negative 6. Oh, this is a negative. Ha, ha, ha. Well, I guess even if you're multiplying, you can still make mistakes here as well. Negative 2 times negative 49 is going, to be, um, is going to be a negative 58. Be very careful with your negatives. I was wondering. I was like, I don't remember that answer being like that. So therefore, I have 33 minus 58. That's going to leave me with a negative 25. Now, I solve. So I divide by 25 on both sides. And what I have is x equals negative 1. Okay? Now, you take the value of x and you plug it into either one of the equations. I've always plugged it into the top equation. So let's plug it into the second equation, just to show you that it works, still works. So it's going to be negative 2 times x. But now we know the value of x, which is negative 1. And then plus 3y equals 20i. So negative 2 times negative 1 is a positive 2. Plus 3y equals 29. Uh, now I will subtract a 2, subtract a 2, and I obtain 3y equals 27. Divide by 3, divide by 3, and I get y equals 9. Therefore, my solution point is going to be negative 1 comma 9 for this problem. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve a system of equations using elimination. Thanks.